Welcome to Toggled. We are going to show you how to install your Toggled LED fluorescent tube replacements. Toggled LED tubes accept power at only one end. Once installation is complete, you will have converted your existing fixture to provide power at just one end of the fixture. With each lamp holder on the powered end, wired for one line and one neutral pin connection, your fixture will go from looking like this to this, eliminating the noise, maintenance, poor efficiency, and failure of ballasts. Each kit comes with one or more toggled LED tubes, installation guide, wire nuts to connect line power to lamp holders, non-shunted lamp holders to replace shunted lamp holders should they be present, and fixture modification labels to indicate that the fixture has been retrofitted and which direction to orient your toggled lamps. You'll also need a few additional tools to complete the toggled installation, a wire stripping and cutting tool, as well as both a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. Installation is easy. You'll remove your old fluorescent lamps, disconnect the ballast system, connect line power to lamp holders at one end of the fixture, with each powered lamp holder having one line and one neutral wire, and install your toggled LED tubes. Please read provided installation guide before you begin. If you're not comfortable with the installation process, please contact a qualified electrician. It is important to verify that the voltage to your fixture does not exceed the voltage rating marked on the powered end of your toggled LED tubes. Next, confirm that toggled tubes are compatible with your fixture. Start by turning off power to the fixture at the breaker. Remove old fluorescent lamps. Remove the ballast cover inside the fixture. You can use a multimeter to verify that the power to the fixture is turned off. Next, check for shunted lamp holders. If present, they will need to be removed and replaced. In a shunted lamp holder, the contacts for the end pins of the lamp are shorted or connected together. Shunted lamp holders are only found in fluorescent systems containing instant start ballasts. Instant start ballasts can be identified by the indication Instant Start, or IS, on the ballast. Rapid start and programmed rapid start ballasts use non-shunted lamp holders that may be reused. The provided lamp holders will accommodate most standard fixtures. However, if the provided lamp holders are not a good match for your fixture, feel free to contact us at support at toggled.com or 1-844-TOGGLED for other suggested replacements. To replace shunted lamp holders, follow these easy steps. Remove any brackets or covers holding the shunted lamp holders in place. Cut any wires attached to the lamp holders, being careful to cut the wires as closely as possible to the lamp holders so you can reuse the remaining wire. Strip wires according to the strip gauge on the new lamp holders. If a gauge is not available, strip wires to 3 8 of an inch or 9 millimeters. Insert one wire on each side of the lamp holders so that they can be connected to line and neutral later. You are now ready to begin installation of your toggled LED lamps. Cut all wires attached to the existing ballast as closely as possible to the ballast. If you choose to leave the ballast in place, it's not necessary to insulate wire ends attached to the ballast as power to the ballast has been cut. Choose the end closest to line and neutral to be powered. Toggled tubes accept power at only one end. You should see two wires coming from each lamp holder to be wired as line and neutral. They may be wired like this, or daisy-chained, like this. The color of the wires in your fixture may vary from those shown here. If the wiring of your lamp holders does not resemble these, double-check that you do not have shunted lamp holders installed. You may contact Toggled Support at any time for additional assistance. You will now connect one wire from each lamp holder to line and one wire to neutral. It can be helpful to gather wires from the lamp holders into two groups, one from one side of the lamp holders and one from the other side. These two groups are then separately connected to line and neutral using the provided wire nuts. Ensure the fixture remains grounded. At the non-powered end, cut all wires from the lamp holders. Reinstall the ballast cover and any other covers or brackets which hold the lamp holders in place. Apply the fixture modification label at the powered end of the fixture. This indicates which direction to orient your toggled lamps. You're now ready to install your toggled LED lamps. Toggled tubes accept power at only one end. Install the powered end of the lamp at the same end that you placed the fixture modification label. You can now return power to the fixture and enjoy your new toggled LED lamps.
To learn more about the family of toggled LED products and solutions for commercial and residential lighting applications, please visit toggled.com. Contact Toggled support at any time for additional assistance.